All right, today we're going to take a look at I've got your number for the uh, Magnavox Odyssey 2. So looking at the cartridge, it says press 1. Uh, okay, so this is one of those uh, fun learning games, I guess, um, <laughs> that your parents got you because they're like, all right, uh, if you're going to spend time playing video games, you are going to um, to learn and have fun. So let's see. Uh, obviously, two players. Um, all right, I'm the guy on the left. So I think you just have to solve for the equation. So let's see. So uh, ball ball equals two question mark. So I think you have to. I guess you have to solve for the question mark. So uh, I don't know. Ball ball equals two ball. Okay. Yep. I'm so happy. It's me jumping up and down. Um, okay, so was that, uh, five triangles equals question mark triangles, so five. So I guess the answer is there, the five. So I guess that's the game is, um, oh, I got hit by a two and I'm sad. You and your buddy race to solve, um, math equations. So submarine, submarine equals two submarines. Got it. Oh. I do like if you if you get the wrong one, you hang your head in shame. Um, that's that's amusing. Uh, but otherwise, I guess you just race race with each other to solve um, kind of lame math equations. So four. Oh, don't want to hit by hit by three. All right, come on, four. All right. So I guess I don't know. I think some of these other games, you, you race up to 10. 10 is the score, so uh, let's keep going until we get to 10. But otherwise, um, is that one, I guess? Um, you know, this game is pretty lame. I'm going to give it a a two, two out of five. Definitely would not want to play this. Um, all right, seven. Uh, play this very often. Um, it's a race to solve math equations quickest. Um, equals eight. Oh, and there's a, triangles are facing different directions, so there, there, there's a sneaky triangle there, so you can't just do the pattern recognition. Um, well, I guess you have to get the right pattern anyway, but you can't just say triangle O. Um, and the submarines, so six submarines. All right, so let's see what happens when we get to ten. <laughs> All right, turn turn to a big guy, um, and then it resets, goes back to zero, and you get to play again. Um, so it's not even math because it's all right. I know four, like I see five plus three submarines, and then eight submarines. So uh, I don't know. Maybe if I was in like kindergarten or preschool, this would count as math. Otherwise, it's like oh, I, I just see the symbol. I know two plus four equals six, but I got to get to that symbol. Um, yeah, maybe some of the other ones had counting, but here it's the same thing. I just, I see the symbol. And I know I just have to get to the symbol. So you're not even doing too much math. So that makes it even lamer. But yeah, I don't know if I had this game in the arsenal. Uh, probably wouldn't come back to it too much. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm giving this a, a two out of five. It's uh, replayability isn't great. Not having too much fun. Um, definitely wouldn't play this with your brother and and say, "Hey, let's let's pull out the Odyssey two and and play." I've got your number, <laughs> and I'm gonna do math better than you. Uh, I'm gonna kick your ass in math. Um, so yeah, this game sucks, but definitely not as bad as some of the other games on the system. Uh, this is definitely something your parents would have brought you home because they're they, they want you to 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 you know get some educational value out of your video game playing. Um, but I certainly would not have been happy with my parents if if uh, at, you know all my other friends had Atari twenty six hundred and were playing Space Invaders and Pac Man and Frogger and Cubert and Pit Pitfall and everything and and I you know I'm playing I've got your number. Um, so. I don't know, two out of five for I've got your number. 
Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it more than I did.